Good afternoon, everybody. Starting the timer at seven minutes. Oh, eight minutes. Okay. I'm going to attempt to speak to you spiritually, and I'm going to start this way. There are ten or more what we would consider major religions in the world today. Of the ten or more, the top five will start with uh, Israelite beliefs, Judaism, and the new sect called the Way, the Christ Way, Messiah Christ Way anointed, was before Islam. So we've got Hebrew, Jewish beliefs, we have Christ way of which Gnosticism and Christianity came out of Christ way. Then we have the Islamic religion. Then we have the Catholic beliefs, Protestant, and then Asia Far Eastern, many gods of India, China, and Japan. So, I am trying to take you on a line, a spiritual line above our brains. The Spirit moved and the Spirit said, let there be light. So we're going to deal with two words, Spirit and light. And this Spirit and light could create, and this Spirit light, the Spirit said the light that he spoke into existence was good, and he divided the light from the darkness. Now, darkness is reserved for unbelievers. Or there is a religion out there that says the infidel. Okay, whatever denomination of Christianity, Protestant, Whatever religion, Judaism, Islam, you're in, here's my one question. Have you had a real spiritual experience that changed you inside, your spirit, soul, your mind, heart? Have you had your spiritual experience from the spirit that moved in the beginning and said, let there be light, and that light that the Spirit spoke of was good, and he divided light from darkness, truth from lying. I do not care what book you read. Torah, Tanakh, I can't remember the, the name of Islam's book, King James Bible, any Bible, any translation, any nation, any religion. Have you been indwelt by the spirit that created earth and humanity? Let's get our thinking up there above spiritually. And the spirit that is light is good. Now, in different nations and languages and religions, they tried to name the supreme being who is the pureness above anything man can think of. All right, math, physics, science, love, light. The supreme being is the highest, purest form of anything man can think of. I don't care what your nationality is or what your religion is. We're talking about spiritual experience that's going to take your spirit soul and cross it over to life without Flesh, blood, bone, oxygen, spirit, soul, life. Have you had your above spiritual experience? Now, I don't care what language you use and what you name God, the supreme being, the one spirit holy. I don't care what name you use or what language. Do you have any power light, glory, authority, power behind your words or behind your name? 
Or do you just read a book and bow down? I don't care if it's three to four times a day or whether you go once a week on a Sabbath, on the seventh day, and you should have Sabbath every day, seven days a week. Two, the spirit that said, let there be light, and the light was good, truth, life, eternal. You have to have a spiritual experience with the creator of life, who can create life that lives outside of Earth's atmosphere, outside of air. Angelic beings, and don't worship angels, can live outside of air in another realm, in another world where there is no air or air is not needed to survive. We go into space as humans. We've got to have a space suit and we've got to have oxygen or air inside that space suit to live. There is a lifestyle of spirit soul, light beings, angelic beings, the supreme being that is spirit light and has the power and the authority to back it up. Are you getting any of this I'm trying to say? I'm trying to elevate you, wrench you out of your religious beliefs that are of man, man-centered, and man's books to hearing supreme being, light power authority that is more intelligent than a man. Sila, silence to think on, to meditate, to give thought to. I'm going to end with this, six minutes and 51 seconds. I took my concordance. I don't care what religion you're in. Do you have a concordance of, of your holy book? Look up this, dark sayings. Now, in the Hebrew language, dark sayings or sentences of speech. You have heard, I don't care what religion you are, dark sayings from your leader that spoke to you. Now, outer darkness is saved for the, uh, what was the word I used earlier? infidel, unbeliever. Light and truth is reserved for he that believes in his creator who is spirit. And we have names for the supreme being, the creator, Elohim, all right? But is there any authority and power behind the name that you're using? Have you ever spoke that name and human flesh was touched and healed. That's eight minutes. I'm going to finish here. I'm going to give you some scriptures in the King James Bible or in Hebrew Old Testament. Numbers 12.8. Will I speak not in dark speech or speeches? Will I speak not in dark speeches? Psalms 49.4 I will open my dark sayings upon the harp. Many false dark teachings are connected to false music. Even in Protestant Christian churches today, a lot of false doctrine in music that is repetitious and is sung more than twice a month in your church. Psalm 78.2, I will utter dark sayings of old. Proverbs 1.6, words of the wise and their dark sayings. Didn't say the dark sayings were good. It just said, those people who are wise and manipulate other people know the dark sayings. Daniel 8.23, a king understands dark sentences. Hmm, interesting. But many kings had to call in the prophets of God to hear the spirit light 
good truth that God puts his power and authority and glory and light in and puts his titles, El, first, strong and almighty, El Yan, highest, the most high, the spirit God, the one spirit holy God that cannot lie said, I know of no living gods before, living gods before me. I am first, I am El. And I know of no living gods higher than me. I am highest, El Yan. Can you get wrenched out of your man-made religion and ascend to the spirit that created light and said the light was good truth, eternal life? 